Hi, Darren Mangum here, securities lawyer, law firm of Mangum & Associates, also known as the PPM attorney. Uh, welcome. Uh, thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Um, been putting out, uh, you know, at least over 100 videos over the past several years. Uh, uh, I always like to jump on here and talk about uh, various topics um, that I think may be helpful. Um, one, one of which, uh, what I want to talk about today was uh, what, what do you do in the situation where, you know, you're out there, you know, let's say you put together your PPM, you're, you've ra you're raising your capital, and let's say, you know, let's use an example. Let's say you're raising a million dollars selling stock in your company at, you know, 50 cents a share, and you're, you know, you've got your PPM, you're, you're, you're uh, you know, you're, you're raising capital under those terms, you've got your subscription documents and all that. And then um, what happens if you come across a, uh, you know, maybe if, and, you know, you've got your investors that are coming in and, and everything is good. But then let's say you have a, uh, what we call, uh, I guess, a one-off transaction or you have a situation where you want to, you have, an, let's say, a family office comes to you and says, hey, uh, we want a special deal. We want a special, we want a special treatment because we're not, we're not just going to buy it at a 50 cents a share. Uh, we're going to, you know, maybe we want, um, you know, we want a big block of stock and maybe we want different terms. We don't just want your regular common stock. We want a preferred stock or we want some, uh, some terms other than what you've outlined in the PPM. Right. Um, and, uh, and obviously, you know, it has to be significant because obviously you don't want to go back and, uh, we have to rewrite the PPM and, you know, and have everybody that subscribed in the in the previous PPM sign off on these new terms. Um, usually, there's some negotiating going on there if they're going to be putting in a sizable amount of money. Um, and so, what what do you do when you when we have you have a one off transaction where like, hey, we're going to get put in a million. Well, let's say you, you know you're raising a million dollars and they want to put in a significant amount. In other words, the terms are different than what you've outlined in the PPM. Uh, that, that's usually easily accomplished, and, and I've had some other videos we've talked about si doing a side letter, uh, but also, um, you know, you have, uh, you have, ideally you would have them sign uh, what we would usually structure an addendum to the subscription agreement that would say, okay, uh, you're obviously agreeing to these specific terms, uh, but, you know, but the, the side letter outlines the specific terms in which they're investing that may be different than the PPM. Now, obviously, your PPM needs to have disclosure that that is that that's a possibility that, hey, you know, we, we reserve the right to raise additional capital on, a di on different terms or pursuant to side letters, blah, blah, blah. You know, that magic language uh, you want to make sure is in your PPM in the first place uh, to protect you from the other investors, your PPM investors, but certainly, um, you know, that's usually accomplished through either a side letter or a subscription agreement. Uh, you know, sometimes investors, especially like uh, VC investors, family offices, they're like, hey, I don't want, we, we, we don't want to invest through the PPM. We don't want to accept the representations in the PPM. But, we, you know, and maybe they have their own documents, you know, they say, well, we don't want to sign your PPM documents. We want to, you know, we have our own documents that are our lawyers assigned. And so um, in that case, you, you definitely, I mean, again, if the, if the deal, if the terms are right, if you're willing to accept those terms and the, the money on those terms, um, you definitely want to pursue it. But at the same time, you want to protect yourself by making sure that their paperwork has much of the same representations that are included in a PPM. Obviously, it's not the same as a PPM. We would certainly strongly urge you to to route those investors into a PPM or at least say, hey, here's our side letter terms. But aside from these changes, we're basically agreeing to all the the risk factors and the warranty and the and representations and warranties in the PPM. Right. If you can't get them there, at least you can insert investment representations into let's say they say well here's our documents we want to use our documents we don't want to use your, your ppm okay great well we can take a lot of investment representations and plug those into their their documents in order to protect you right uh, and that's how you how you navigate that 
you know, you don't have to like turn them away and say, hey, this is our way or the highway. Uh, of course, you could do that, but you know, we certainly, if uh, if the deals are right, and usually if they're right in a significant uh, amount, a, a big enough check to you, uh, then you know you're willing to accommodate them. So, anyway, um, again, that's what we call a one-off transaction or, or or a side, you know, maybe a side letter transaction where it doesn't really fit the the exact parameters of your PPM, but you're still wanting to accommodate them. So anyway, those are some technical things that uh, you may come across as you raise capital. Uh, uh, certainly, we're always here to help um, and uh, feel free to reach out with any uh, questions or concerns. But um, uh, again, if this is helpful for you, uh, please like or subscribe or feel free to share this with your friends or other people that are raising capital that you know. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.